Good morning all, Camelback Trading 2724, coming to you this Wednesday morning, June 3rd, and I'm starting off with a um, little page here showing you all the details for the webinar for Saturday, June 13th. I'll put this up maybe every other day until then. Um, it's going to be on gotomeeting.com. I did one uh, with Strictly My Trading Room about a month ago. It was very successful. I'm opening it up now to all my followers on Twitter and YouTube. Um, and anybody else you would like to invite, uh, I could accept up to 150 people. So it um, be a fun thing to do. I break down the market profile on the SPY. Uh, and so we have a question and answer session. I'll do a longer term outlook, I think, on the S&P and, and the SPY uh, going forward. And 10% of the proceeds are going to St. Jude's Children's Hospital, which is my daughter's sorority, and I have a soft spot, too, um, for the children. So there's all the information. It's $10 for people that are members of CamelbackTrading.org, $20 only for non-members. Um, I hope that you guys sign up, please. Uh, when you do sign up, you have to include your email, whether it's um, to my Venmo or PayPal account, which is all on here. So I could send you a link to the video. All right. So now let's get to the market. So here we are, gapping higher again. After gapping open yesterday, filling it immediately, failing initially above last month's high to flush out week longs only to balance for a good part of the day, go out with a price probe to the upside, and now looks like we're going to have our second gap out of two days in the month of June to the upside. Bulls firmly in control. Volume right now is the only thing that has been poor on these moves, but again, that's only one part of the equation. Yesterday's high was 308.13. We're opening at Right now, it's trading at 309.87. So again, the gap rules apply, will not apply to me with this size gap. I'm going to wait for more market-generated information. There's nothing to lean on as far as if I take a long position and we have a counter auction. And on the flip side, I certainly don't want to short it because right now, there's nothing up until around the 313 level in SPY. So certainly need more market-generated information if we are to come in, taper off, have a Still have a decent sized gap, but my risk reward is a lot better. I will certainly take a call play at that time. Um, again, no short at all at this time until we get more market generated information, which would mean possibly seeing if we go back and forth through the opening. Do we go below the opening, never see it again? Th that, things of that nature. So let's go over destinations and a game plan. So right now, with just over an hour to go, I'm not going to even use yesterday's high. Um, we'll use, I'll still say 308.47, which was a daily high. And then there's nothing into 313.10 daily high, 313.84 monthly high. Our pre-market high right now is 310. So right around where we're trading. For the downside, our first destination right now, my pre-market low is 308.82. So that would be an area of interest for me to take on the buy side because then below that, it would be filling the gap at 308.13. Then we don't have anything to the price probe at 307.26 and 10 wide at 306.41 from yesterday. So again, the game plan. Now, I really don't want to see it trade at the pre-market low, right? But then again, pre-market lows and highs have been violated both sides of the equation with regularity lately as well as the initial balance. But I'd like to see it come down, taper off above 308.82, take a long, and then my outs either if we take out the pre-market low or certainly the gap. Again, no put play at this time. Now let's look at the charts. Like we said yesterday, monthly, took out last month's high in two days. We are one time framing up for two months. I'm calling it balanced up because of this huge range in the month of March. 
I'd like to see if we can take that out. That's the next huge, huge level. If we take this out, then we would officially be one time framing up. That's going to be a key battleground, I believe, around the 313.84 level, if and when we get there. Weekly, very healthy, one time framing up for two weeks. This is week three. And again, it's the same destination, 313.84. Daily. I called it up yesterday. We came out of a five-day balance. We are now gapping higher. We are firmly up right now in the daily with, again, right? I said those baby steps. Well, 308.47 is being taken out. The next two destinations are 313.10 and 313.84. Bulls firmly, firmly in control. What they want to see, what they would really like to see, is volume come into this marketplace to confirm this upside move. You'll get full updates if you're a member at camelbacktrading.org before the open and throughout the entire trading day. Have a great day, and we'll recap the day at 4 p.m.